Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this uh, mass exercise. It's a roof with different uh, thickness. Um, today we're going to model some some uh, structure. But before we model the structure for this one, so we're going to model uh, try this space truss. Okay, something like this. So the result will be something like this one. Okay, so it's actually very, very simple. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's create a project. And in this project, I'm going to model in place mass. Okay, so now use reference line. So we need to draw some spline through points. So imagine so this is the shape of the roof. So this is the shape of the roof. So create three spline and create four. So now let's go to 3D view. And then maybe just go to the front view. So um, let's just move them up a little bit. Okay, so maybe like here. So now rotate your view and you can start to adjust the uh, the points. So, for example, I'll just uh, roughly uh, move the points up a little bit. Uh, this one, oops, this one go up a little bit as well. Okay, so that's it. So this is the shape of my roof. So the next step is select select this face and use a divide surface. So now we have all these grids. Okay, so. Now we need to model a pattern-based family to uh, place place it to here. So now let's new family, and so you can use the curtain panel pattern-based, or you can also use this one generic model. So let's try the generic model today. Okay, so open. <coughs> Okay, so now we have four points here. So if you go back to the mass, so it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so now first let's place some point and use draw our work plan, set our plan, pick the horizontal work plan, place it on the point. Again, set, place, set, place, set, place. So select all these points placed under these uh, original uh, points and then create a height. So let's call it H, type parameter, and OK. So now if I go to family types, tab in, so for example, uh, one meter, maybe two meter. Okay, so now. Um, Okay, so the next step is we need to select two of the points, create a spline, make it reference line. Once again, spline, reference line, spline, reference line, oops, reference line, this one, yep, and spline, reference line. Okay, so and then place a point, draw on face, pick the middle point and also this midpoint and we're going to pick this midpoint as well and also this one so select these two and create a spline make it reference line once again these two spline reference line so now select one oh sorry place one point draw on face and place it on this reference line and then select this point use Point, uh, host point by intersection, so then pick this reference line. So this point now will always stay in uh, um, here, stay in this uh, intersection. Okay, so now we can, we don't need to, uh, um, so what I'm going to do is, um, instead of, you know, draw all these reference lines and then draw the profiles and create a form I'm going to create a new uh, adaptive family okay so in this new family I'm going to create 
place two adaptive points and make adaptive and then create a spline and make it reference line and then place a point draw on face and place it on this long reference line and then reference circle draw on work plan set work plan pick the vertical work plan of this point and draw a circle so and then create a radius dimension and create a radius parameter so uh, maybe that's too big. Let's tr let's change it to maybe uh, 75 or maybe 100 and OK. So select all these points, the circle and the dimension CC and select the point and pick new host and pick the, this reference line. So now we can select these two profile and create a form. And then select this point. I'll move this to, uh, sorry, zero, and this one will go to one. So now this is one of the the member, the frame. Okay. So now load this into the family, the pattern-based family. We can place all these members. So let's do it. So first, I'm going to place. Uh, place those so one two three four okay so the, those on the base so you I'll use SE and SE tab SE SE tab SE SE tab SE SE tab okay so now because we are we still need to pick the point, point uh, these points here so I'm going to select SA select all and hh hyphen so let's create more uh, fra uh, these frames so pick this point and then uh, maybe just use se okay and then i'll just hide it hh component this point sa tab and hh this one sa HH and then SE tab. Okay, so now we have all these uh, four on the base and then four a diagonal one, and also we need to model this one. Okay, on the, those one are on the top. So I'll just I'll just place them. So SE SE tab. SE, SE tab, and then that's it. So if you type HR, so you will see all of them. And so actually, you can create a, a panel on the top as well. So for example, you select all these reference lines, create a form, a solid, and you can you can also uh, so for example, I want to offset to stay away from the frame. So maybe uh, this will be the the radius, right? So if I link to um, the radius, let me uh, where's the radius? Oh, hell. So select one of the member because we can get this uh, radius from here. So oh sorry, because it's a uh, because it's a um, shared family. So this member is shared. Let's just leave it for now. So I'm just going to. Uh, just type in okay so I'll type in 100 so so you will see it will match that maybe uh, let's just go up a little bit oh sorry too much 120 and also uh, for the next ne uh, negative offset so actually I'm going to type this one 140 and this one negative 120 so it will be 20 mil thickness and then 20 mil away from from those frame and maybe I'll just uh, put glass material to it. So now if I load this into the project and so let's go to 3D view, select this. So um and go change it to this family three. And you just need to wait a, f a, f a few seconds, I think. And okay. So that's it. Um, 
looks like the frames are a bit too thick or or maybe the the mm, the shape is relative relative to the shape that the frames are too big <laughs> maybe uh, I need to increase the size so or if you tab tab select let's have a look so this is the height so if you want to change the height you can just tab tab so select one um, pattern based family and then you can edit to change the height so for example if I change it to one meter just need to wait a few more seconds yeah that's yeah that's it that looks better maybe uh, we need to change the the, the radius of the, these uh, frames so tab select so because these frames are individual um, family are shared family you 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 can you can select them okay so you can select individual family and then you can go edit type so here we have uh, radius 100 let's change it to 50 and wait yep that's it I think um, much better okay so um, tomorrow we will try to model some uh, a roof with different thickness to match that um, that roof here something like that okay so Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.